Hessenberg Uncertainty Principle. Well, to learn Hessenberg Uncertainty Principle, we have to learn some very basic concepts of quantum mechanics, which will make things super easy. I challenge you that whatever you learn here about Hessenberg Uncertainty Principle, it will be so easy that you will not find it in the whole YouTube community. Thus, I will break this concept to small chunks so that below every students can learn it. After watching this lecture completely, you will learn Hessenberg Uncertainty Principle in a very simple way. Firstly, we should learn about the transfer of momentum during collision. We know that momentum is the amount of motion present in an object. Its formula is P is equal to M into V. For example, consider a moving bicycle and a moving car. Let they both move with a velocity of 40 meter per second. We say that the momentum of the bicycle is smaller and that of the car is larger due to the difference in size. Or we say that the bicycle has less amount of motion and the car has more amount of motion. Simply remember that when there is motion, there is momentum. No motion means no momentum. Let me repeat it. When there is motion, there is momentum. No motion means no momentum. In this lecture, for simplicity, in case of momentum, I will use the term motion which students easily understand. Now consider two balls. Let this ball is stationary, so its motion or momentum is zero. While this ball is moving, so it possesses momentum due to its motion. Now this moving ball will collide with the stationary ball. After collision, the moving ball will stop and the stationary ball starts moving. Here, listen carefully. During collision, the moving ball has transferred its momentum to the stationary ball. That's why it starts moving. Let me repeat it. During collision, the moving ball has transferred its momentum to the stationary ball. That's why it starts moving. Therefore, remember that when particles collide, they transfer some sort of momentum. So note it down this concept, which we will use in Hessenberg Uncertainty Principle. Secondly, we should also learn photoelectric effect. We know that light is made up of photons, just like we human beings are made up of cells. Now according to dual nature of light, light or photons can act as a wave, and light or photon can act like a particle. For example, light or photon is reflected when it hits any surface. So it is a wave nature. Secondly, photon transfers momentum during collision like the one we learned in the previous example. So it is a particle nature. To learn it more simply, let consider a metal surface. Now light is incident on this metal surface. The single photon of light will hit this electron. During collision, the photon will transfer its momentum to this electron. As a result of this, the electron is ejected from the metal surface. That's why we call it photoelectron or this whole process is known as photoelectric effect. Now listen carefully. During collision, photon changes the position and momentum of an electron. Let me repeat it. During collision, photon changes the position and momentum of an electron. Remember that photon only changes momentum of microscopic particles like electron. It doesn't change momentum of macroscopic particles like ball. Believe me, if you do not know this concept, you do not understand the Hessenberg Uncertainty Principle. Therefore, note it down this important concept. Now let me teach you that what is certainty in physics. Well, certainty is nothing, but when we are sure about something to happen or occur, we say that it is certain or there is certainty. In physics, at macroscopic level, 
usually certainty exist for example consider a moving car let the initial velocity of this car is 10 meter per second and its acceleration is equal to 5 meter per second now i am interested that after 2 seconds what will be its velocity or motion and what will be its position well the answer is simple using this equation vf is equal to vi plus at we can easily calculate its motion after 2 seconds it will be 20 meter per second secondly we can easily calculate its position using this equation 2 as is equal to vf square minus vi square it will be 30 meter on x axis so we are sure are certain about the motion and position of the car after 2 seconds hence this is the whole concept of certainty in physics now what is uncertainty in physics the simple and funny answer is hessenberg uncertainty principle now i will explain one topic which will cover our three topics or three questions like uncertainty in physics hessenberg uncertainty principle and application of hessenberg uncertainty principle now consider the photoelectric effect which we have already learned in the previous slide let i am interested to find the position and then motion of this electron but here are two big problems firstly speed of electron is approaching to the speed of light secondly during collision photon of the light changes the position and momentum of the electron now i will incident the light on the metal surface i will quickly note down the position of the electron but here is the problem the photon of light will suddenly collide with the electron due to this collision photon will change the motion or momentum of electron so abruptly that i cannot predict its motion or momentum because we know that electron moves with the speed of light thus i only measure the position of electron but i am uncertain or not sure about the momentum of electron secondly i am interested to find the motion and then position of electron now i will again incident the light on the metal surface i will quickly note down the motion or momentum of the electron but the photon of the light will suddenly change its position and i will not be able to predict its position because we know that electron moves with the speed of light thus here i only measure the motion or momentum of electron but i am uncertain or i am not sure about the position of electron therefore overall we draw this conclusion that at one time we cannot find position and momentum of electron simultaneously so this is the whole concept of uncertainty or this is the concept of hessenberg uncertainty principle therefore hessenberg baba states that it is impossible to measure both the position and momentum of macroscopic particles or we can write del x and to del p is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi here del x is the position of electron del p is the momentum of electron and h is the planck's quantum we can also say that the more you know about the position of electron the less you know about the momentum of electron or we can also say that the more you know about the momentum of electron the less you know about the position of electron so this is the whole concept of hessenberg uncertainty principle